Hey everyone, welcome to part 11 of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Grundy's Revenge. And uh, where we last left off, we were mouth. We was in the mouth mold, and we still are. Exploring this little castle, sand castle, very reminiscent of the original Banjo Kazooie uh, Treasure Trove Cove. Although we've already kind of had the Treasure Trove Cove level, which was um, Bree Gold Beach. In fact, this is, if you think about it, the second kind of swimming beach seaside themed level in the game. That's two out of six to do with the sea. Um, I mean, I don't want to say too mu too many bad things about Rare here because it's a good game, but you know, same theme, guys. And um, yeah, I said in the comment section of the last vid or the vid before, I can't remember. Um, to cipher on that. I don't know, it just seems like maybe they're running out of ideas for like themes. Because a lot of platformers are criticised for having the traditional um, uh, ice world, fire world, forest world, um, space world kind of thing. And um, I don't know, it can partially be levied against this game. Um, although it is. I th it's, I don't know. I, th I think maybe I'm just being too harsh because, as I said in the previous video, it's a crappy seaside theme, which um, UK audiences will appreciate. I'm sure you've all had a holiday like that, gone down to South End or Bognor, or maybe Skegness. Um, so yeah, but it still has that nagging feeling that you know, we've already had levels like this before. Nice, jiggy number three. And we're only coming up to the two minute mark. But there is one final thing to get in this castle. And that is the Jinjo, who is taunting us. He's just out of reach. I think he's left up here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I think that's it for the mouse now. Not sure if we even see him again for the rest of the game. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Possibly, possibly not. But with the notes that we've collected from there, we should now have enough to uh, get the new uh, Bozai move, which is thankfully just next to Mumbo's pad. Yeah, I want to change. Speed it up. Okay. No one's complained yet of me speeding it up, so I'm going to just take that to mean that it's fine. Yeah, we can learn it. Nothing I like to see more than a load of sparkling nuts. I should think he's lucky to see anything. Again, he hasn't got very good eyesight. Look, he wears glasses. Yeah, so do I. I'm offended by you, Rare. Nah, I'm not. Got to poke fun at people, haven't you? Okay, ice eggs, yes. Um, got them in Banjo Tui, and now we're going to have them in Grunty's Revenge. That's not very ice kazooie. Got to shoehorn in a few jokes now and again, haven't you? Does this work on them? Freezes them, but for two seconds. <laughs> it's useful. Very nice. Um, okay. The first thing we want to do with our wonderful new move is to go and squeeze out another boss battle, which will be up here. Now, when I first played this, I thought that, that was a drop, like a water drop, like a tear. Turns out that's supposed to signify ice eggs. Well, it confused me. I, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Pretty obvious if you think about it. Okay. And look. It's another Gruntilda boss battle. The Sui seems a little better. She should be my heavy hitter. Since she stayed by Banjo's arm, I'm going to have to do her harm. So this is another revenge attack, I guess. Now this... Oh, I didn't do this first time when I first played this. So I'm hoping that... I can do this without too much difficulty. I didn't realise the first time as well that you can actually hit her projectiles to stop yourself being hit. If you see what I mean. 
Okay, she's flying. That's good. We've only got three more of these panels to hit. Make that two. And now the attacks become a little bit more erratic. And possibly one of the hardest boss battles in the game. But I'm doing pretty well so far. A couple more hits and she'll be dead. She won't be dead. She already is dead if you think about it. This jumbo mecha really stinks. A few more sm a few small holes and it just sinks. But when I meet you in my tower, I won't hold back. I'll use full power. Yeah, maybe Klungo wasn't the mechanic we uh, we took him for. But nevertheless, we have one more jiggy and a new mumbo totem, which means a new transformation. What could it be? What possible connection? Could the Mumbo transformation have to a dirty, diseased seaside town? Um, that's not supposed to give away an obvious answer. I don't think it is that obvious when you see what it is. Which will be right now. Banjo have new totem for Mumbo magic. Mumbo hope this turn out alright. Mumbo change to something now. Yeah, please. Do your magic. And look, turn into a little octopus. And there we go. Mumbo call this octopus. Use octopus swimming strength to go in water that harm Banjo. Okay, so basically, um, we've tried to avoid going in the water because it's polluted and horrible. And uh, but now, no problem, because octopi actually. Um, love dirty water, did you not know? In fact, they make it, if you count ink as dirty water. Not many people necessarily would. I'm bullshitting, I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I've just got to explore this, uh, the harbour a little bit more. Check it out, it's another squitter. Can we talk to it as... Hey mister, you, you like birds, don't you? Some of my best friends are birds. Why do you ask? Maybe you can help me get an oith cream from the oith cream van. When I've got my oith cream, I can get back to my mum. And, uh, yeah. We've already got the ice cream. And, uh, she loves it. Thanks very much. I'll tell my mum how nice you were to me. Bye. Bye. Hug you soon. What an adorable little squid. Oh yeah, and we can get rid of those bastards now as well. And we can collect these weird coins. What could they possibly be used for? Well, I'm sure we won't have too long to find out. Probably won't reach that in this part. Yeah, this level's taken ages. I knew it would. There's nothing around here either, is there? It's just black. Arterial black. How long does it go on for? Okay. Yeah, we've headed way too far, of course. But there is a nice, decent-sized challenge for the uh, for the octopus in the form of the Mocky Passage. Yes, that's right. I'm uh, heading down someone's Mucky Passage. Did you did you get the innuendo there? Because <laughs> I said I said Mucky Passage and oh, something like a bum hole. <laughs> oh, it's amusing, isn't it? Yeah, grow up. Oh, fuck's sake, arse jokes. What do you think you are? Ten years old? You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's just get to it. Yep, two health off. Not nice. But this isn't too taxing, this little area. It's a nice change. Nice, different style of gameplay to what we've usually had. It's just been mini-games, bosses, time challenges. Now we've got something of an obstacle course. Yeah. Nice variety is the spice of life. And as a reward, a jiggy. What else? Okay. Now, uh, I think there is a little bit more we can do with the octopus. If we go over to the, um, the sandcastle area, maybe there's a little bit of stuff in this sea. Oh, guess what? Yes, there is. Um, was that it, though? Looks like it. 
Yeah. Okay, that's it. Alright, well, I'll try and get back to Mombo's place before the end of this vid. Um, I should make it. I'll definitely make it. If Slowdown doesn't fucking get in our way. Oh, no. I thought I was going to make it. Without Slowdown. He's been gone for a few vids, so... I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, let's change back. Let's just finish it with us back in uh, Bear and Burn. Okay, so next time on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge, um, we basically finish off the rest of this level. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next part. Later, people. Bye.